In this video, I'd like to talk about trig identities from reflections or rotations. And for these example problems, we will have some point on the unit circle where we have an angle theta. And we will need to answer a question about that angle value of theta evaluated in one of the trig functions. And there are two main approaches to this. We can either memorize the formulas for reflections or rotations, or we could look at a list that contains them all, or we can evaluate these from basic principles. And remember that on the unit circle, when we look at the coordinate points, we have the x and y value, but on the unit circle, since the hypotenuse of this right triangle formed here, or this ray from the origin is equal to 1, we know that the x-coordinate is the cosine of the angle theta, and the y-coordinate is the sine of the angle theta. And for this problem, we're looking at which two of these expressions are the opposite of the sine of theta, or minus the sine of theta. And since the sine of the angle concerns the y value, we're essentially looking at which of these has the opposite y value here. And let's approach this from basic principles rather than needing to memorize formulas or use a table or a list of formulas. And for this first problem, we need the sine of pi plus theta. So we start at theta, and then we're going to add pi radians to that, or 180 degrees. So this will rotate our ray halfway around this unit circle, and we can draw in that line, which would be roughly to right about there. In fact, if drawn perfectly, it would form a straight line here, since we have a 180 degree angle, or a pi radian angle. And at this point down here, we can look at its y value. So let me clear this first. Since at this point, this is the angle theta plus pi, we know that the x value is the cosine of theta plus pi, or pi plus theta, and the y value is the sine of theta plus pi. And the y value here, notice, is right here, which is the exact opposite of the y value up here, meaning that the sine of pi plus theta, this is equal to the opposite of the sine of theta. They have opposite y values. So when we compare the y value here with the y value here, these would be opposites of each other. And of course, we could have found this from a formula that when you add pi radians to the angle inside the sine function, that this would be equal to the opposite of the sine function. If you shift the graph of the sine function, pi radians to the left, it will be the opposite of the sine function or the sine function reflected over the x axis. So choice A here, this is correct. And we can look at choice B. And now we are adding two pi radians to the angle. And when we add two pi radians, that brings us all the way around to where we currently are. Meaning that the sine of two pi plus theta, this is just equal to the sine of theta. It brings us right back to the exact same coordinate, meaning that it would have the exact same y value. And since it's not the opposite of the sine of theta, choice B would not be a correct answer choice. In fact, we can generalize and say that when we take some angle and add two pi radians, that this is just equal to the angle. Or we can add two pi radians as many times as we want, so we can even multiply it by some integer k, where k is a whole number, can be negative as well, but we can add it as many times as we want and we still get back the angle. So anytime you see the angle plus two pi radians, or 360 degrees, you can just switch that for the angle theta here. Now the next two are a little bit more complicated since we are dealing with minus theta. And it might be clear to rewrite this as negative theta plus two pi. 
and we can draw in negative theta. If this angle right here is theta, we're counting in the positive direction, the counterclockwise direction, then negative theta would count in the clockwise direction. And we would essentially be this angle here, whatever that is, below the negative x-axis. And we can draw that ray in where the ray would go from the origin to a point on the unit circle, roughly right about there. And again, this angle here and this angle here would be equal to each other. And this angle right here, this would be negative theta. So let me mark that in. This right here is negative theta. And for this first one, we are adding two pi radians to that, meaning that we would go all the way around the unit circle back to this point right here where we started. And we want to compare the y value here to the sine of theta. And you can see the y value would be the opposite of the y value for the sine of theta, meaning that when we look at the sine of minus theta plus 2 pi, this is equal to minus the sine of theta. And we could have also determined this from the identity that when we plug in the opposite of the angle, we get back the opposite of the original sine function. And just like this relationship here, when we take negative theta and add 2 pi multiple times, we do just get back the starting angle, which in this case would be negative theta, meaning that if we have negative theta plus 2 pi, that's just equal to the sine of negative theta, which of course is the opposite of the sine of theta. The sine function we know is an odd function in terms of its symmetry. Now the last choice, since we've confirmed that C is correct, the last choice we should expect to be wrong, but it's worth looking into it just to double check. And now we're at negative theta and we're gonna add pi radians to that, meaning we will go 180 degrees in the counterclockwise direction or pi radians and we can draw in that ray, which would form, if drawn perfectly, a straight line with the ray down here, bringing us to roughly that point and the x value would be the cosine of minus theta plus pi, where the y value would be the sine of this pi minus theta or minus theta plus pi. It doesn't matter what order you write it in. And the y value here, notice, is the same y value as the sine of theta, meaning that for choice D, this is simply equal to the sine of theta. And that just confirms that choices A and C are the correct answers here.